And I didn't know it in Chicago. So what difference does it make if you're on time or late? I asked the fellow at the ticket counter if I'll be able to fly tomorrow, and he says, well, we'll keep our fingers crossed. So we'll see. The snow is not expected to hit New York until sometime after midnight, but forecasters expect that it will likely change fairly quickly to sleet and freezing rain. It is why the Department of Sanitation is ready for a messy morning. The snow plows are ready and sand spreaders are loaded. Mild winters in the past have accumulated a mountain of salt. We have about 350 spreaders uh, loaded and in place uh, with plows just in case it does get out of hand. But the way it looks is we'll probably be able to handle it just with the, with the salt spreaders. Other city workers were on alert as well today. Paramedics have already rescued eight people from the suffering cold, and the heat complaint hotline has logged more than 2,000 calls since midnight. Residents at the Albany houses say they just get the cold shoulder from the city-owned building. I go downstairs to the office, I plead with them, they wouldn't give us no heat. They said, we send somebody up. For years now, these radiators don't work. They've been like that for, since I'm living here like six years now. Tonight, as New Yorkers bundled up with extra layers, they braced for not only a blanket of snow, but a sheet of ice too. In Manhattan, Robbie Chavez for the WB11 News at 10. And to complicate matters at LaGuardia, the Delta Airlines terminal had to be evacuated for a time as the result of a security emergency. An anonymous police source says a gun might have slipped through a security check. When the potential threat was realized, every passenger in the terminal was evacuated and rescreened. About 900 passengers were affected. No report of a gun being found.